this ridiculous, man? Are you freaking kidding? Are we <laughs> mad at the Chiefs and the Steelers and everybody Thank else? We're talking about integrity of a game? Hey, by the way, when I was playing, we were 14-0, and 0, and Bill Polian pulled, you know, Peyton Manning, Reggie Wayne, you name it, right? Jim Caldwell pulled all the guys, and we, and we ended up letting the Jets in the playoffs and had to go play them in the AFC Championship game. He, look, look, Doug Peterson is in charge of the Philadelphia Eagles. That's it. He's not in charge of integrity of the game. He's not in charge of any of that. He had made the decision before the week of who he was going to play. Carson Wentz didn't even dress. Fletcher Cox in the game. Like, we, we have made – this is a freaking joke that we're talking about this is the integrity of the game. He decided he wasn't going to play for the win. There were a ton of teams on this weekend that didn't play. By the way, this is kind of like for me, like rookies in the locker room. You should be seen, not heard. Her. Rookie head coaches the same way for me, man. Like, are you kidding me? Like, like we hadn't even coached long. We won six games, and we're complaining about the other team who won four games not playing hard enough to get us in the playoffs. Man, I, look, I, I, I understand. If I, the, the people who should be upset are the Philadelphia Eagle players who want to win games. But to act like this is integrity of the league conversation is freaking ridiculous. All right, Marcus, what do you think? I First of all, I wish me and Jeff Saturday were together so I could give him a hug. Um, my first <laughs> initial reaction, my first initial reaction to Joe Judge was, so what? Like, you went on this rant about something you had nothing to do with. Absolutely no control. You don't know what was on that coaching staff mind and to insinuate what you would and wouldn't do. It does not matter. I was so mad when I watched this because when you think about it, like this is not a team that's about to be relevant in the playoffs, coach talking. This is a team that lost, didn't find their way in the playoffs, left the playoffs up to something else happening to get them in, yep. and then you want to pose that and talk about what Doug Peterson is doing. Might I add this? Doug Peterson won a Super Bowl three years ago, if I'm not mistaken. Yeah. Took this team to the playoffs when everybody left them for dead last year. And I'm with Jeff. Like, if the player, if he's lost the players, the guys that are coming back, because there's going to be some wholesale roster changes for the Philadelphia Eagles, if he's lost those guys, then we're having a different conversation about Doug Peterson. That's right. Future moving forward with the Eagles. But as far as Joe Judge, th Come this is the first one today. I don't give a damn what Joe Judge talking about. That's okay. the first one. Okay. Can I just jump in the middle here? Because someone has to be the voice of sanity, Graziana, before I come to you. If the two of you were going to hug each other, you're going to have to squeeze me to death in between you because I was going to jump in between and tell you both that you're out of your minds. First of all, there is no equivalence whatsoever between what the Steelers did, keeping Ben Roethlisberger healthy for a playoff game, and what the Eagles did, which is tanking the fourth quarter of a game that was consequential <laughs> to other people. So that's the first thing. There is no, nothing at all similar about those two things. And the second part of it, Swagoo, is that Joe Judge, I think, is not just speaking for his team, which got left out, but the idea that everyone put together 255 and three quarters games of football this year trying to win. And the Eagles, for reasons known only to them, decided to give Nate Sudfeld a senior day because he had been there four years yeah. and needed to get some snaps, like his mom and dad were standing at midfield with a bouquet of roses, as Ryan Clark said yesterday. So to me, Marcus, those are not the same thing at all. Okay, yep, spoken like a guy that plays chess and drinks high-dollar wine. That's what you sound like right now. <laughs> Listen, this, this ain't got a damn thing to do with Doug. Like, Joe Judge can say what he want to say about the integrity of the league. Everybody went through protocols. Everybody dealt with issues as this season went along. And if you want to talk about integrity of the league, then I watch the Denver Broncos play without a damn quarterback. This is a yep. different situation. Like, that, <clears throat> look. This the bottom line, G. You can be mad. The New York Giants fans can be enraged. Joe Judge can be enraged. Doug Peterson yep. is the head coach of the Eagles. He can do what the hell he want to do throughout a That's game. That's right. And then, too, like nobody is talking about Jalen Hurts wasn't playing well. If we're talking about a comeback, it was about his legs. I, and I understand it from that standpoint of where they were in the game. But Doug Peterson can get whoever he wants to get reps. The Eagles right. wasn't going to the playoffs. He let the dude play. That's, that don't have nothing to do with anybody else.
One of the reasons, by the way, that, 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 that the kid Hurts wasn't playing well is that the Eagles basically sat half their starters in, in a weekend in which Matt Stafford, who should never have played because he had every injury in the world, was out there playing in a meaningless game. And Deshaun Watson was out there playing in a meaningless game because in the NFL, they don't treat games like they're meaningless. Graziano, what are you hearing around the league in reaction to this? Yeah, the NFL is going to cancel the playoffs because of the damage that Doug Peterson did to the uh, integrity. No, Thank you. come on. Thank Ain't you, no Grass. You, you Thank you. The, the NFL wants everyone to play their guys and try as hard as they possibly can to win every game. That's why they re reconfigured the schedule a couple of years ago uh, to put division games in weeks 16 and 17 to try and incentivize. Uh, teams to put their guys on the field and reduce the the incidence of like what you say with with Pittsburgh not playing their guys because they're resting them for the playoffs. But it still happens, and the NFL is not going to do anything about it because at the end of the day, the Philadelphia Eagles have every right to decide who should play quarterback for them and, and, and in which quarter. Doug Peterson said publicly last week that he was going to get Nate Sudfeld some snaps in this game. It's not something he said, oh, look up, we're too close to winning. We better try to lose. Let's put Sudfeld in the game because obviously he's completely incompetent and a white flag, and if we put him in the game, we have no <laughs> chance to win. That's not what happened, right? So so I, I don't. people get upset. This happens all the time. And Grass. there is a similarity to what the Steelers did, and the similarity is the effect it has. The effect it has is it's easier for That's the right. other team to win the game when you don't put your best guys on the field. Yes, but the Steelers no are the making reason. sure that Grass. they're giving themselves the best chance they have to win the Super Bowl this year. The Eagles were not doing anything of that kind. To me, that's the difference. Go ahead, Marcus, final word real quick. I, I'm, I, just, wanted to, I just wanted to say, Graz, you know what? We, me, you, me, and Jeff tried to explain – this to everybody. <laughs> just let them be in, don't hit them with facts, Graz. Just let them be in their feelings <laughs> and their emotions. Just tell them next year, win enough games so you can go to the damn playoffs and not have to worry about That's Doug right. Peterson playing self field. That's right. Thank you for watching ESPN on YouTube. For live streaming sports and premium content, subscribe to ESPN Plus.